Hello Internet, I thought I'd make this video on how to do probing with a Fidel 3016 CNC machine. Um, that's what I have, but should work for other machines. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube, Atman, who has a great video on how to set up the probe, but he doesn't show anything about how to actually find fixture offsets with the probe once you do have it set up. Um, so I thought I'd share this to just kind of show you how you can do, go the rest of the way to actually get a fixture offset. Uh, this is my probe, it's just a cheap eBay probe. Uh, you see it lights up red when it's touching. Um, the logic on this probe is opposite of what Fidel expects. So I have a Raspberry Pi inverting the logic, you can do this with a relay. Um, there's good information, like I said, in the Atman video on how to hook that up. But yeah, I just have this USB cable uh, going all the way into the back of my machine. And then the probe inputs there. Um, one way you can check is if you go into jog, you see it says probe not touching. And then when I do touch the probe, it does see it touch. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is download uh, the program. This is based off of a program posted to the Fidel Users Facebook group. Uh, it's based on something written by Jan Kirsten of Skywater Machining and Engineering. Um, credit to him for writing this. Uh, I had to make one small edit because I use Format 2, which is the edit you need to make is there's some G28.1s that you need to change to just G28s for this to work in Format 2. Um, I think if you're running Format 1, you don't need to do that. Uh, but anyways, download that program. I've got it in NC Link here. And my laptop here is set up to drip feed uh, into the controller. Um, so got my COM port settings. Uh, I just use 9600 baud. COM1 is a USB to serial adapter. Uh, X on, X off. Handshaking needs to be set up. Um, so this is ready to go. And then on the controller, uh, we are going to do T A comma one comma two comma uh, whatever you want your program number to be, which is one. So I believe that's uh, RS two thirty two serial input is the number one. The number two is the error checking mode, which I just used two. I forget what that means. And then number one is the program. So T A one two one. I'm gonna hit. Enter. It's now waiting to hear it from my uh, drip feed laptop with the program. And then I'm going to hit start and it's going to upload. Um, I've got some line delay set up, so this is going to take a little bit. I'm doing a little experimental thing related to those uh, automatic servo coolant nozzles I've got there, but that's another thing. Um, so anyways, this is uploading. And we're almost done. And another thing you might want to do to edit this program is set up the default diameter of the probe, um, just so that you don't have to type it in every time. All right, cool, so that's uploaded. And now when we go auto, and then auto to run this program, hold on, I'm gonna change video angles to a wide angle. Okay, cool. Um, First thing it's gonna ask you in the program is, actually first I gotta run it, hit start. Uh, the machine will go home, but mine's already at home. And first thing it's asking is what fixture offset are we probing? Uh, enter one for fixture offset one. Uh, notice there's no spaces. That's an artifact of the drip feeding, which removes any spaces. But you can kind of scroll through the program and read the prompts beforehand. And once you do this a couple times, you know what every prompt is, so. I'm just living with that. Maybe there's some way to fix that. Uh, so I'm gonna hit enter for fixture offset one. I'm gonna hit enter to confirm. It's now asking me to set my probe diameter. I've already set this up. Uh, and so I'm just gonna hit enter to confirm. Then it's gonna ask you what corner you wanna probe. Uh, one is upper right hand. This program is only written to actually do outer corners. He never wrote the inner corners. I should just take this out, but Whatever, you, your choice is one through four uh, here. So I'm gonna go one for upper right hand. 
uh, and then it's just asking me to confirm, so I'll hit enter. Then it's gonna ask us, enter a positive number for Z to move down. So basically it's gonna just do like a coarse drop down of the head to uh, get things close, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just gonna go to six here, and then it's asking us to confirm. And uh, there, it's gonna go ahead and drop the head. Okay, next step here is it says, pause the jog, use option three when done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit jog. And now I'm gonna just jog close-ish to the upper right-hand corner where we're gonna probe. And then I'm gonna go to Y, Z. And you just have to get this close. The macro is actually gonna uh, handle the rest. All right, so let's set up. You can see how close I've got that there. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit manual to exit. I'm gonna hit start again. And this is where we have to pick option three. Okay, and now it's gonna actually do the probing thing. So it's touching off Z. It's coming over. It's gonna do X. And then it's gonna come over and do Y. And then it's going to go back. I have this way slowed down just because I wanted to run it slow while I was learning how this works. Up some feed rates here. So first it's gonna go back home and then it's gonna to go to one inch above the fixture offset. There we go. And sorry, it's inch and a half. So it doesn't go exactly to it, but it just shows you an inch and a half away so you can kind of confirm. Uh, program's over here, so I'm just gonna hit manual, get out of it. If we do a DF for displaying fixtures, you can see it picked it up there. Uh, I'll even just prove it to you. If we do DF, uh, option three, option eight, and if we hit start, it's moved to the probe fixture offset there, and it's perfect. Anyways, I hope this helps. Uh, yeah, good luck.